This is a story for my mom's side of the family, for the Wells side. So I'm going to do uh, a long video and then I'm going to do some, some short ones that I'll put up on Instagram. So this will be the long one. All right. Uh, last week, a couple came into the store and the young man introduced himself as Arthur. Anyway, he is a math major. He was getting his, I don't know if it was his um, master's or PhD, but he wants to become a professor. So we had this great talk. The short story was I told him that my grandfather's name was Arthur. And so he said, well, I'm probably a little young to have this name, but I was named for somebody in my family. And anyway, in the course of the conversation, we had a little bit of time to talk. And I said, you know, my, my grandfather was a cotton farmer and he was very Will Roger-esque. He was a smart man. He was not formally educated, but very, very smart. But he also had such a funny take on the world. He just, some things would just perplex him, like the helicopter. And anyway, this couple's eyes got really big. So I was telling them the story. And my grandfather used to believe that the helicopter was a miracle. He would just say, I don't understand how this big thing flies up in the air with these little propellers. It must be a miracle. And and this conundrum went on for years. My uncles would try to talk to him and and explain some things to him about flying and engineering and whatnot. And he just would, he just, well, but you know, it's just a miracle how it gets up in the air. You know, he didn't know anything about yar or whatever. And so when my brother was 16, they were having the conversation again. And Richard said something like, okay, granddad. So the people who invented the helicopter were scientists. And, and this is what's so interesting. As I'm telling this sort of story within a story, I'm talking about my grandfather and my, my brother, t you know, talking about the helicopter. The couple listening on were nodding. Like, like they had been there in the conversation, which was really cute. They're like, yeah, that's right. They were scientists. And then, um, the, sorry, I had to do something. Anyway, so my brother said, so the scientists had an idea they tested it and what worked they kept what didn't they they threw it out and then they would have another idea and they kept going until one day the helicopter was able to fly and my granddad said well okay so here is what the couple said the other day last week they said that's exactly what happened and and i now i'm perplexed so the young man says i was actually named for my father's, okay, I don't know if it was his father's uncle or his grandfather's uncle. It was probably his grandfather's uncle. I don't know, it could have been his father's uncle. I don't know. <clears throat> Arthur Middleton Young, who is credited at MoMA, at the uh, Museum of Modern Art in New York City, for having invented the first... Um, well, he invented the stabilizer that allowed the very first helicopter to fly, which was designed by Bell Labs. So the very first Bell helicopter is credited for having gotten up in the air by a Arthur Middleton Young, which was this young man's namesake. Or wait a second, would he have been the namesake? It doesn't matter. So I tell my mom the story today and she said, Richard would have loved that story. I said, well, he's a, <laughs> he's probably having a conversation right now with Arthur Middleton Young and granddad. And they're all laughing about the helicopter right now. I don't know, but we can only drink, can't we? So anyway, that's for you, my Wells family. I hope that you enjoyed that story. Thank you for watching.